While I personally no longer invest in U.S. real estate, I know that a lot of foreigners like the idea of buying property to rent out in the United States. The idea is that the United States is a transparent market, pricing is transparent, there's plenty of rental agents to handle your property, and just a full suite of services that a lot of foreign investors like. But today, I'm gonna to give you four main factors to consider if you're a foreigner investing in U.S. real estate. Hey guys, I'm Andrew Henderson. I'm the author of the book, Nomad Capitalist, in which we talk a lot about the idea of investing in markets that other people haven't gotten around to investing in yet for higher appreciation, higher returns, a more pro-business climate where you can do more things and you have more freedom with your property. For me, the future is outside of big developed markets like the United States. We get a lot of attention for saying I would never invest in Italy or Spain. Uh, but what, for those of you who do want to invest in real estate in the United States, I do want to give you four main factors to consider. Because just as I see a lot of folks from the West who come to us and have unrealistic expectations about what it's like to invest in up and coming markets, I see a lot of folks from markets that aren't in the West looking to invest in the United States and they don't really understand what's involved. And so the first thing you should understand if you're investing in the US is it is the highest litigation risk in the world for property investors. This is one thing that's not really a Western thing, it's a US thing, right? So if you invest in the UK or Ireland, not as much of an issue, but in the United States, people love to sue each other. And so if you own property in the United States, you want to make sure you have lots of insurance and you want to make sure you've got a, an asset protection strategy. Okay? A lot of people in the United States use LLCs, limited liability companies, to hold their properties. And some people put you know, every individual property in its own LLC. I'll come back to why that's important in a moment. Some people will put you know, two or three or five properties in an LLC, then switch over to another one. Generally, an LLC, you would want, and I'm not a, a U.S. attorney, but you would want to... Uh, put properties in the an LLC in the state where you're investing. So if you're investing in different states, that could complicate things. But making sure your assets are protected, making sure someone does not slip and fall on a banana peel and sue you and take all of your properties that you've invested in is definitely a concern in the United States. What's interesting is folks from the US come to some of the markets where I am investing in, some of these emerging markets, and they'll literally see like, you know, a little nail sticking out from the wall and they'll start to panic like that they, you know someone's going to come and take everything that they own you know if they if they slip on this nail it's just not how it works in most countries and so if you're not used to that you want to be aware of the litigation risk make sure you get an attorney to structure things for you properly in uh, the united states now the second thing you need to be aware of is you do need to file a tax return occasionally i hear these myths out there where people think oh i can get depreciation and uh, or maybe I'm buying the property and not renting it out all the time. I only have a certain amount of income. You know, generally speaking, you are going to have to file a U.S. tax return. There's different forms for uh, non-resident investors. There may be different tax treatment. And so you want to make sure that you're not screwing with the IRS. I know in some countries, uh, filing tax return is optional or people don't do it. No one really tracks you down. You know, in the U.S., obviously the IRS is a lot more dialed in. And uh, people in the U.S. are afraid of the IRS in a way that uh, I think the people in a lot of other countries aren't as afraid of their tax authority. So make sure that you're filing the tax return. I always say have a good tax preparer who's an expert in what you do. So in my world of offshore stuff, I would say never go offshore, never do anything offshore without having an international focused U.S. tax preparer. The consequences are too great. If I'm investing in real estate as a foreigner, I want someone who that's their focus. They're used to working with foreigners. They don't just work with Americans who, you know, or U.S. persons, as we call them in the tax lingo, people who live in the United States. I want a tax preparer who's familiar with foreign, non-resident alien investors to make sure everything is done properly. You may not have a ton of tax to pay if you're just earning small rents and you're taking depreciation, but make sure that everything is in line because the penalties are pretty substantial. The third thing to consider goes back to that asset protection strategy. Most people that I have known over the years use the LLC, uh, which is a transparent uh, structure, different than a corporation. 
to hold their properties. It's a more tax efficient structure for, for a lot of people. It may or may not be, depending on where you live, by the way, in your personal tax situation in your own country. That's another issue. Uh, but generally speaking, if you have an LLC, there is not a tax return, but an informational return called Form 5472. Non-US persons need to complete and file this informational return for any LLC that has transactions within a calendar year. And the penalty for not filing it has recently increased to $25,000. Now, this rule not only applies to real estate investors, it applies to anyone who's using US structures uh, in their uh, org chart, basically. 5472 is a form that needs to be filed. And so if you're owning real estate in LLCs, you wanna make sure you're filing those forms as well so you don't get stuck. Number four is estate tax, how to avoid U.S. estate tax. Now, you would think if you didn't live in the United States and you died, the U.S. would not take a bite out of your assets. Perhaps where you live, they have an estate tax, or perhaps you're following our strategies and you've moved to a country where there's no estate or no inheritance tax. But even if you're not a U.S. taxpayer, you can be subject to the estate tax at your death. And none of us knows when we're going to die, right? So it's important to get this right. Uh, if you're a U.S. taxpayer, you get a multi, multi-million dollar estate tax exemption, and you can use that throughout your lifetime through the Unified uh, Estate Tax Credit. Uh, but if you're not a U.S. taxpayer, your exemption upon death is much, 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 much lower. We're talking tens of thousands of dollars. So you have one good rental property, you're going to trigger that estate tax. And so when you die, the U.S. is going to come asking for its tax. And they're like close to half. Now you would think, what is my connection to the US? Why am I paying this tax? Well, because you have a US situs asset of which US real estate is one of them. And so if you're a foreigner or if it's, you know, and you're owning a, that in your own name, or if it's in some kind of US entity, that's gonna be a problem. And so you wanna structure that in an international way to make sure that you are not gonna be on the radar for that. I see this issue come up all the time. People wanna make investments in the US. They wanna buy a home using my trifecta method, maybe they wanna spend three or four months in a relatively tax-friendly way, you know, living in New York, living in Los Angeles. It's possible for foreigners to spend a few months a year living in the US. That's fine, you can own a home there, no problem there. Uh, or maybe they wanna buy US stocks or things like that, right? So you wanna be aware of this particular issue and structure your affairs appropriately. If you're a foreign investor buying real estate in the United States, those are four things that you wanna think about before you take the plunge. In my personal experience as someone who left the United States, I think that you'll find a lot of markets overseas that have a lot less bureaucracy, a lot fewer costs, a lot fewer taxes, a lot less maintenance. When I sold my two uh, investment properties in the US, I sold the last one about a year ago, I got the detailed escrow breakdown. Now notice I paid cash for these properties, but I got this escrow breakdown. There were like 12 or 15 different little fees that had come out. While I was selling the property, I got a $100 fine because the grass was like half an inch too, ha too tall and I had to have my family friend attorney uh, go and, and fight and get this $100 fine dismissed because we had cut the grass you know, a couple of days later. So in my opinion, you can look here on our channel, you can go to nomadcapitalist.com, you can read the book Nomad Capitalist and find all kinds of ideas for investing in places that are pro-business, that do want you to invest there. These four reasons and more are, in my mind, reasons why the United States is not as friendly to foreign investors as they would like you to think. How can Nomad Capitalist help you? Four ways. Number one, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to make sure you get our new video every day. Number two, get a copy of Nomad Capitalist, the book. You'll learn a lot of my personal experiences over a dozen years of studying this stuff, as well as exactly some of the strategies that you can use to build your nomad capitalist plan. Number three, if you're not sure where to start, but you want to come and learn from my team and I, you want to come and mingle with like-minded people, learn more about our live conference, Nomad Capitalist Live. It's coming up soon. And number four, if you want some help right now because you've got a burning issue, you need something solved, you wanna lower your taxes, get a second passport, or build the Nomad Capitalist lifestyle of your dreams, go to nomadcapitalist.com and click on Become a Client.